Hello YouTube, we are here in uh, beautiful Olesund and we are just setting off on our first um, ocean passage together. We are going to Faroe Islands, it's around 380 miles and it's also going to be the first passage um, with this boat, with Arctica. So that's quite exciting. Um, the engine room is ready, we are ready. Sophie, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at the map before we cast off. In the earlier episodes we splashed the boat and sailed down the Norwegian coast to Ålesund. And in this one we are going to be crossing the Norwegian Sea to Faroe Islands. Later on this autumn we hope to make it to Iceland and at that time of the year things really start getting interesting up here in the north so remember to subscribe if you want to see how we do. Sulla tulee vettä tuolta, jos saa purjehit. Alright, now we are motoring and I'm chilling up here on the sun deck as we call it but I don't know if we are going to be tanning ourselves here that often but anyway, well I should take the mainsail down probably because the wind has died but it should fill in again I'll try and leave it up for just a while we are making our way towards the Faroe Islands and the crossing should be around 360 nautical miles so it's gonna take us two or three days now that we are motoring we are doing seven knots steady because Arctica of course is very good for motoring with her with her twin engines at low rpms we are um, going at seven knots uh, steady or a little bit over so if we keep up this speed then we should be there day over tomorrow in the afternoon and I would like to be there during daylight because Faroe Islands is pretty well known for nasty weather and fog and um, strong currents so it would be nice to tackle all of that in uh, daylight and and not not during the dark we are already um, do, doing our watch system so we are three hours on and three hours off and Soho is currently having her off watch so she is um, sleeping down below or at least uh, trying to sleep it's nice to be out on the open ocean, especially because we spent so much time coming down the Norwegian coast to get to this point where we could do the passage to Faroes, you know. We are aiming for Iceland eventually this summer or this autumn, uh, but uh, we couldn't do it immediately or we didn't want to go straight from uh, northern Norway to Iceland because that's a lot longer passage. And we just didn't want to do that as, as the first passage. So we've been like hurrying down the coast. We haven't had any time to film or shoot footage because we've also been fixing the boat and making her ready. And we've been like really busy with our work as well. So I haven't really got much footage of that at, at all. So uh, you've, you missed out on all the boat work, but uh, that's just how it is right now. Okay, it's 
It was all nice and easy during the first day and the night, but on the second day things got a little bit uncomfortable. Well, the Norwegian Sea kicked our butt after all. Um, yesterday we had some uh, short steep waves and uh, wind from the wrong direction and I got uh, seasick. And today we have the fog to deal with. We have like very, very thick fog here and it's quite annoying because we are also closing into Faroes right now and I'm thinking there might be some uh, fish traps or buoys here. Might even be um, small uh, fishing boats with no AIS and so on. So you have to keep like constant watch. It's not enough to scan the horizon every five or ten minutes. You just have to sit here constantly because the visibility is maybe 50 meters. And if you have a fish net or something, then you have like just enough time to turn the autopilot off and uh, change course. But yeah, yesterday um, when the wind filled in from the uh, other direction, what happened was that of course we had swell from the opposite direction and uh, the seas got very confused and the wind picked up to almost, well maybe around 20 knots and it was from the wrong direction, it was almost straight on the nose and uh, we decided that we still want to try and make it to Faroes um, by, you know, by today or today so we wanted to make it to Faroes in two, um, two and a half days total um, so we chose to take down the mainsail and kind of like um, motor into the waves except that the, well we were motoring into the wind but the waves were coming from the um, from the port side and it was super rolly and yeah I got I got seasick I was testing this um, these uh, new seasickness tablets that we have or not really new but I was trying like anti-histamine tablets um, the effective agent is uh, Meclozine or something like that and it didn't work out so well for me uh, Sohvi has also tried those before but they make her extremely sleepy so they don't work for work for her, her either what works quite well for us is uh, the scopolamine uh, patches uh, let me just see where I have them found them so these ones here so it's a patch that you put behind your ear and it releases uh, scopolamine into your system and they are very effective but they these ones can also have like very strong bad side effects uh, what we get from using that like for side effects is uh, we get uh, dry mouth and especially after a couple of days your mouth gets like really dry and uh, I get like this small kind of nagging headache but other people get far worse um, side effects so if you are looking for something that's very effective against seasickness then I really recommend you try out uh, like these scopolamine patches you can only get them in Europe you need doctor's um, orders to get them um, but um, they are effective but you also have to watch out because you can get very strong side effects so you really have to try those out on land before uh, for I, I would say for at least one day and see if you get bad side effects or not because I know people who get such bad headache and start hallucinating and so on so that they can't use the patches and obviously if you put it on the first time while you are already out on the sea or going out to the sea then uh, it's not the, not the right place to find out. We've tried a multitude of other things as well for seasickness and uh, other medicine and what I found out that works somewhat well for me is just ginger. Um, I think, I mean it hasn't been scientifically proven but I think it does work at least a little bit and um, the thing 
is you need to get like pure ginger, the, like a ginger candy, which even the ones that are supposed to have a lot of ginger in them doesn't really work for me. I think you need like more actual ginger. So what I found out that kind of works is just um, this um, dried ginger tablets, basically just 100% ginger in dried form and you get it, get them as tablets and uh, those kind of work but uh, ginger candy and root beer and so on I think there's just not enough ginger in there Luckily enough, the fog lifted as we got close to land. Even the church bells were ringing with our arrival to Torshavn, and I surprised myself and all the bystanders by managing to reverse Arctica into a tight berth. Ai että, osasin peruuttaa siihen. Ei ollut kyllä yhtään liikaa tilaa. <laughs> Ei olisi kyllä onnistunut, jos olisi tullut yhtään. <laughs> Torshavn is a nice town, but we came here for something else. And that was something that we would only be able to find outside the city. Thanks again for watching. If for some stupid reason you want to support my small production, please go ahead and check out my Patreon page. See you all next time. Bye bye.